three debates that I see come up a lot in AI. Do you worry that new technologies could cause mass unemployment? Yeah. No. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. People who are not just unemployed, they are unemployable. And what are the people going to do? That's the $64,000 question. I believe this is going to be one of the biggest challenges we face in the coming decades. These are quite philosophical, ethical, and information-oriented questions and debates. Now, I wanted to address it because I think it is something that we should consider as we are working with AI. First one we're talking about is AI is inaccurate. As you're in this field, as you're getting into your field, of course, AI is inaccurate. AI is meant to be for the people and to help augment the skills that somebody already knows. It's not gonna do your work for you. It does help do your work for you. It might help shortcut a lot of tasks, but it's not going to do the thing for you, which is why when somebody brings up AI is inaccurate, it's probably because they are at such a high level and they're innovating on this product. So right now I'm referring to how this recent weekend I was able to attend a meetup where the people were discussing AI. And in that meetup, some people expressed how AI was inaccurate in their work. When their work was building on AI, meaning they're building the next innovative level on AI. So it's a bit hard for something to be in the past to make something that is going to be in the future. Like you can't have a running engine without first designing the engine. So I thought there was a bit of a misunderstanding on their end where they felt like maybe AI could have been more powerful. But I believe it's for a good reason that they're challenging AI and that as they're challenging the different types of AI, they can build upon it using protocols and ways to test it to make it more accurate. The next one is AI is going to replace everybody because AI is going to do the most optimized job and it's also going to do the most optimized, time efficient and best performing job in a quicker time than you, in a better output than you and it's just going to make everything you do seem a lot less spectacular. Now, I think AI definitely has a place that's going to take away a lot of the jobs that have inefficiencies currently and make it more informative. So, for example, if I'm thinking of conversations, someone that is in a Southeast Asian country might have a difficult time conversing with somebody in their in the Western world, for example, if their client is in the Western world. Now, when I say that, I'm thinking about the many different means of communications, not just back and forth, but the implicit meaning of what is happening and how they're feeling. And from using a traditional translation software or translation service, it's going to miss a good amount of the nuances that come with language. Now, I'm not saying AI is going to be the perfect answer for that, but with AI, People in Southeast Asia, for example, that might have been struggling with communicating themselves better is now able to communicate that to the language model that they're using that I also have to add would make a good fit or is the best fit for their purpose. So from that model, they're able to have an output that is more better suited to communicate their thoughts to their client. There are a lot of VAs in Southeast Asian countries, and as they're dealing with people speaking English in America, this might really help close the gap in the inefficiency of communication. And of course, this debate can go on and on. There's going to be for sure jobs that get replaced because it's gonna be done more efficiently and accurately. And there's also going to be many new jobs that are being created, such as how to manage these AI programs to best utilize them. So it's not gonna always be 100% optimized as industries change and as the world evolves. Someone is going to have to go in there and tinker and know that maybe in the last three months, this certain approach using AI worked the best, but now we have to optimize it another way because the culture of the social media platform at this time is trending in a different direction. Now, the third thing that came up was having stability in the outputs. And personally, as I was thinking about this, I was thinking about how inaccuracies might come and how there might be different ways that LLMs misinterpret what was put in. 
but for the sake of research, because many were debating about how accurate some of the information people get from AI is, regardless of that, I think we need to approach working with LLMs in a way that is resourceful and inquisitive. So for example, if there's a new idea or thought that is presented, we can put it in an AI and see what it tells us. And from there, what it tells us about that, we could either change it to be more catered to us, or we could use the ideas and dig deeper into those ideas. And then from those ideas, once it digs deeper, we think about the terms that are brought up, what concepts that are brought up, and then you have to do your research. Because of course, you can't just rely on this LLM that is trained on certain data. Other LLMs are trained on other data. Other LLMs are also trained on a ton of other data. So of course, there's not gonna be stability, but there will be ways for it to help you think of new concepts or of concepts that are related to what you're trying to learn more about. And so regardless of whether or not these answers are going to be stable all the time, the person that is using it is going to learn, is going to have to use their minds critically as they're thinking about how to approach this concept, what things they need to learn about it to be educated in it. And then ultimately, this person is going to have a better understanding of conversations in this subject in particular when they're meeting with other people. And because they have that knowledge, they're going to be able to further expand their reasoning and learn more about it. So these are a few things that I saw pop up a lot in recent AI debates. I wanted to address them and I'll see you in the next video. If you appreciate the content, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. And I do have a course on AI, which approaches all the creative aspects of AI. If you want to check that out, it's in the link below. And I'll see you next time.